Hey guys, I'm Kate Simsley, and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, I'm glad you're back, and if you're new, welcome in. Today we are building a base game only family home. So this home uses only base game, and it is three bedrooms and two bathrooms, and it costs less than $22,000. we are going to watch it come together really quick. I keep losing my voice, so I'm probably not going to talk through the whole thing here. I will play music. But yeah, you'll watch it come together. Relatively quick. It's pretty straightforward, but I'm really happy with the way this one turned out. It's very cozy and I don't know, I like it. I don't know what it is about it. It's a starter through and through. Like it's not it doesn't have much stuff in it at all. There's not a lot of skill building items. I didn't get a computer or anything. Like I probably could have if I got rid of some of like the decorations and whatever. But uh it is a starter through and through. But I am happy with the way it came out, and hopefully you will be too. This is on the gallery as base game family starter, and like I said, it's literally only base game. I think it uses like the holiday pack, something from that or something, but that's free anyway, and I consider it base game. But yeah, so it's three bedrooms, like I said, and two bathrooms. I did set it up so that one room is for a toddler, the other one's for a kid, and then there's the parents' room. And you will have a fair amount of money left over if you played like a family that had two adults and two children. So, yeah, I don't really know what to say. It's 2023. We're in a new year. And, uh, yeah, nothing interesting has happened yet. Our weather where I live has been really nice. Like, we don't have any snow, and it's been relatively warm. So I'm happy about that, and I'm hoping that'll stay. Like, there's, I don't think I've ever had a January where there's no snow. So, like, I'm looking forward to it staying like this. I don't think it's going to agree, but it would be nice if it did. I would love to make it through the whole winter without much snow. Like, that would honestly be the highlight of my life. I guess I have to just wait and see what happens. But uh, it's been pretty good, so I can't complain. Other than that, I haven't been up to much. I've just been messing around on games and building and whatnot, trying to get my life a little more organized. I've been playing a lot of City Skylines lately. I'm honestly addicted to that game. I don't know how to play it at all. I'm horrible. And I only like making the cities. Once they're made and they're functioning, I'm over it. Like, I don't play at all. I just start a new city every time. I don't know why that is. Like, I just find the coolest part of that game, honestly, is that, like, there's a workshop. Like, it's on Steam, right? So you go to the Steam workshop and you can, like, download stuff that people have made for the game. And I think that's the coolest thing ever. I wish I knew how to make things for it, because I'd make my own stuff, and then I'd be really happy, but I'm sure I could figure it out. I just uh, don't have the time, to be honest with you, but I love it. It is so addictive. I really uh, enjoy it. But like I said, I honestly only like starting the cities. I don't like really playing the cities. I guess I could, because like, as time goes on, you just change things, and they grow and grow and grow. Um, but I just don't do that. I just start new ones every time. I swear to God, in my, like, <laughs> it's kind of like The Sims. In my saves, like in my save files, I must have like 30 files. It's just cities I started. Like every time I start playing the game, I start a new city. It's really odd. Actually, this time I had a city that I'm really enjoying. Like it's really, it's getting big quick and I like it a lot. It's laid out really nicely. And then I go in last night to play it and the file messed up. And like I have huge chunks of ground where I can like see nothing. Like they're gone and it's a like, it's a sandbox game. It's like anything, right? When you take away the ground, it's open to nothing. Like, it's just emptiness, blueness, whatever. And it's all like that, and I'm sad, and I don't know how to fix it, so I guess I'm just going to start a new one again, which I would have done anyway. But I did really like it. Anyway, you're going to stay here. The kitchen comes together really quickly. I did actually put a lot of counters in here, and I probably could have took one or two away and had some more money. But I enjoyed the way that it wrapped around. I did put, a, like, a little island, like a breakfast island kind of idea. And I thought that that was cute. But there's also, it's a kind of Aiden kitchen dining all together. So there is a table and chairs on the other side, which you will watch me see put in shortly. Other than that, it's, uh, it's pretty simple. Nothing too extravagant. And I didn't, actually didn't add any clutter in this kitchen, which is rare. I usually I do. But you know what? Like, building base game only sucks. I can't. I don't even know. It's just that stuff, like, building a starter base game, the stuff is so expensive. It is so hard to create a cozy, comfortable home full of clutter that looks lived in, 
with only base game. Like, I know it can be done, because I've watched people do it, and I've done it myself once or twice, but it's so hard, because there's just, it's overpriced. Like, you know that already, if you see the toilet paper costing, like, 50 bucks for a roll of toilet paper. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's extreme. Like, everything is so expensive in base game. But I managed to do it, and I am happy with my game. And I could have actually added a few more things, because I did have a little bit of extra money. Um, but when I built this, I only had a mom and two twin toddlers, I think, on the lot. I downloaded them from the gallery and just added them in to build. And they, I don't know, I still stayed within their budget. It's 24000 I think, for three of them. I think if there was one more sim, then it would have been 26000 So, either way, you're going to have money left over, and that's what matters. You can add a couple of skill bidding items, because there are, like, none in this build at all. I think actually I put books. I got books in the build, so there's a skill bit like there. But there's no computer, no easel, nothing like that. Yeah, you'll watch it come together. Like I said, it's quick. Um, I did actually create custom art in this build, so you're going to see that as well. In the living room, I made like three pictures. That it's I used like an arrow. It's in debug, and I just kind of put it on the debug canvases, so they're kind of hanging on the wall. And I did the same thing by the stairs. I created two photos out of the canvases and the, there's ro there's a rose in debug and I used them to create or I ended up in the bedroom I did the same thing just with one slat it's like a piece of wood and the canvases you're gonna see them they look cute I'm happy with that I don't know if you'll love them but I thought they were really cute the flower one is a little weird because the roses like do stick out of the canvas a little bit but from a distance it looks cute so just I don't know don't play in first person you'll be fine but other than that I think it looks good and I'm happy with it I don't know what else to say. I did manage two bathrooms. So there is like a powder room at the front door when you first come in the house. And that is the only bathroom that I really show in the screenshots, I think. I don't even know if I show building the other one either. Um, but they're the same. They're literally the same, except the upstairs one has a tub and this one doesn't. But I thought it was cute. I thought that it was fun. In the living room here, I started out with the couch. And Lubsy, did you hear that whistle sound? That was me. Um... I started out by having the love seat in the couch, but I just didn't like the way that it looked. So I ended up getting rid of the couch, and I did it again. What is happening? I get rid of the couch, and I stick with the love seat, and I just put a chair there instead. I figured there was only three of them. They didn't really need a lot of places to sit in the living room. You could always switch it back. I tried the couch, like, the other way, but it took up so much room. I didn't think your sims would walk by properly. But yeah, so I started to just do a love seat, and... We carry over that. I do put like the little fireplace. It's not an actual fireplace, it's just like the mantle. And I fiddled around with that. At first, I wanted to put a mirror behind it and then put candles, but I couldn't get a mirror to sit properly because basically, only mirrors suck so, and they're expensive. So instead, I, I just kind of played around and you'll see that I ended up putting stuff there. You'll see it anyway. Yeah, after we do down here, I'm going to paint, I'm going to do the floors. So I do wood throughout, other than in the bathroom and kitchen. And then we're going to move upstairs to the bedroom. So I'm going to play music because I'm about to cough and sneeze and cry. But you will watch this come together. You'll see here I use debug stuff for art all over the house. And yeah, the, all the information, if you wanted to download this for whatever reason, the information will be in the description below along with the link. And or you can find anything I do on the gallery using the hashtag k 8 Simsley. So you can always do that. But I'm just going to go. I don't really know even what to say, and I'm hungry, so I'm going to do that. I will let you enjoy this and listen to some music. Have a spectacular day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! I'm acting surprised, but I know I'm not over you. I keep missing a fight, even though there's an overdue. We had a fire, now we're watching it burn. It's not enough time, not enough time I'm falling behind, falling behind I hate to separate my body and mind My body and mind Ooh, ooh I feel like Ooh, ooh, I feel like Demons in my mind Demons, demons in my mind Ooh, ooh, it tastes like Losing my pride
surprised But I know I'm not over You keep missing our fights Think I'm losing my mind But I guess that's what love do Self-giving, you know that we shouldn't keep it up like this. We hurt each other's feelings on and on. I don't wanna change who you are. The things you say is always one step too far. But I know that I've played my part. I'm hurting you as well. I guess that we should say we're sorry. Say we're sorry. Say we're sorry. Again, don't give up, we're holding on For what it's worth, I'll try to change We can't fix our broken hearts Loving me is not so goddamn easy as I think You try your best to hold up, but I see you're giving in You know that we shouldn't keep it up like this We hurt each other's feelings on and on I don't wanna change who you are you say is always one step too far But I know that I've played my part I'm hurting you as well I guess that we should say we're sorry Like this, we hurt each other's feelings on and on. I don't wanna change who you are. Who you are. It's just say it's always a step too far. But I know that I play my part. I'm hurting you as well. I guess that we should say we're sorry. Say we're sorry. Say we're sorry. I guess that we should say.
Just this day. 